Okay, so my children are outside playing, having a good old time, all that good stuff. And I've been getting unemployment PUA this entire time. And I go to file this week thinking because, oh, well, if I don't get to $600, I should still get my regular state unemployment. No, they completely locked me out of the port law altogether. I can't even file the claim for just regular unemployment. But it was some bogus excuse talking about they couldn't verify my email when they literally just sent me two emails and sent me mail verifying that I was still eligible for regular unemployment. Literally, just got it last week. So they're starting some BS now and I can't flip and believe it. This is ridiculous. All I have to say is, thank goodness I was smart with my money. I feel bad for those that didn't make the best decisions with their money. And I'm really hoping that with this next stimulus coming up and the unemployment that will come through, whatever it might be, they're going to have to do this. I want to help others be prepared so that they can actually come out on top on this. I've been trying to make these videos so you guys could see what exactly I was doing in the first place, but if you look at my other video, my kids were always around and I never got a chance to do anything. No writing anything now, no recording, no anything. Just like, this is literally the first time that I've had quiet <laughs> to actually think, to put my thoughts together, to record something that is coherent and makes sense. So, um, and they're supposed to be on punishment, but I live in a small apartment and they don't know how to be quiet. So I'll, I'll never be able to work if I can't get them out. So it's hard to punish them and be consistent because they're stuck and I'm stuck and I can't work and I can't make any money, period. And with the boost and the unemployment gone, I don't even get the regular unemployment because I can't file the claim for this week. It's annoying. It's annoying. But anyway, so the thing that I wanted to share is that I had started up a stash account and set up um, investment accounts for everybody. And that has been proven to be very positive. Small gains, very small, nowhere near like being able to just be like, oh, well, I've replaced the payment I can I'm making that I wish I wish I can invest that much money to get eight hundred dollars in dividends but or six hundred dollars in dividends but no no that I'm not balling like that but um at least it's it was something to help keep things going so I'm really hoping that they get this together because I'm definitely going to be putting that money into investments and I know that other people might not be able to do that because to tell you the truth, when I got my tax refund and the unemployment lump sum, I was just like, oh, I'm investing this money. There's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is great. I was going to buy a house, but somebody stole my identity. And messed up my credit. They bought a car. And haven't made payments on it. I don't even own a car. I don't even borrow people's car. I use rideshare. So that was just a blow to the face. But anyway. So I decided I was going to invest my money so I could watch it grow. I had um, a Roth IRA before when it was attached to my job so I had some experiences and I also had a another investment account but I've been using Stash, Weeble, and Robinhood and I'm going to put the links below because it is epic 
goodness right now and the market is still low it's still fluctuating low with um stash weeble and robin hood you can buy um fractions of stocks so you don't have to buy the whole thing so if you don't have a thousand dollars for amazon apple facebook whatever it is you can put whatever you can a hundred dollars ten cents the one thing i love about stash is that i have the debit card and whatever purchases i make with the debit card i can get stocks buyback stock buybacks or stocks i can purchase stocks for like 12 cents two cents one cents for it depends on the amount of money that you spent on whatever product it is that you bought so i can get money from that and like i said it is really fabulous it is the best thing ever like every time i look at my account i'm just so happy that it's growing because i've made investment choices that i know are going to go up with the exception of one but it's only like a it's i think i've lost like five bucks but <laughs> that's only one out of all the rest so my goal is since they're still flushing this out I've got a couple of weeks where I can show you what I've invested in, show you how things are going, and show you that if you're tired of being sick and tired, just first of all, make sure you have everything in your house you need to be comfortable. Make sure your rent's paid, all your bills are paid. I pray, I wish that this could be for everybody, but I know that there are people that need that money to pay their rent. But if you're the type of person that can get this next stimulus check, you know some people that can get that stimulus check and they can use that money for something else to invest and grow their money, please let me know. Let, bring them to this page. I'm going to show them how to invest the money through Stash and Weeble, through options trading to grow and get money that way. I've, been, I've done a couple of them and it's been good. And... Although the unemployment ended, I was really hoping to get that extra money because I was going to reinvest it. And I had it in an account that now I have to close because I don't have regular deposits going in. So, um, I transferred all the money out of that account and then into the stash account so that I can keep growing the money. The growing the money. And I want to show you guys how to do that. And I've got to figure out how to edit the videos so that you don't see all my info, but you can see how I do things. So I've got a lot to learn because this was supposed to be a homeschool thing. And I know a lot of people are going to start homeschooling. So I'm probably going to do a video on homeschooling after I do a video on this. But this is what I really want to do right now because I want to motivate people to not be stuck. I know I'm unmotivated right now. Somebody invited me to go kayaking and I just don't even feel like doing it because I'm just like, they keep messing with my money. First, I tried to rebrand my website at the wrong time because I had gone to transfer all my videos and my son deleted my phone. Oh my God, he reset my phone. And it was <laughs> all the videos that I had, they... I, I'm gonna just tell you. Okay, so I'm I'm trying not to go off on a tangent, but I haven't had time to write anything. Literally, as soon as they walked out the door, I started recording this. So my goal is just this: to help people get motivated to put this next stimulus check, no matter how much it is. If your rent is paid, then please, by all means, take care of your rent first. I might actually put my PayPal link down there if anybody wants to donate. And if anybody needs rental assistance and want to take, take advantage of this, the money going into my PayPal account will be going towards people who need that money for that. And trust me, you're going to have to show me proof. I'm not just going to give the money away because, quite frankly, I'm blessed enough to where my rent is paid and I can take the stimulus check and invest it to grow my money. And I was fortunate enough to qualify for unemployment, but now they're playing games. And um, I just need to keep going. I, I have the cushion, I have the, the savings, I have that stuff, so I need to keep moving. I can't just stop no matter how much I want to because I need to process all of this because it is ridiculous. I am very disappointed in how the government has screwed the pooch on this one.
seriously. Like the states, the unemployment agency, the unemployment administration that's filling out all these claims and processing all these claims for shame. Your system needs to be better. This is ridiculous. It's bad enough that there are people that weren't even getting unemployment from March, but I applied as soon as they said to apply. I got all the confirmations. I've got all the paperwork. What the heck? What I mean, the boost is supposed to end. What about my regular unemployment? Why can't I even log into the portal? Why are you giving me BS dated April 1st, mind you, that I was ineligible and that when I call in to the automated system, it's telling me that I haven't received payments in 60 days when I just got one six days ago. There's something wrong, really wrong. And even when I tried to reset my password, it didn't even give me an email. So when I had called today, I think they deleted my information. So I'm hopeful, even though with the way this whole thing is going, that I can at least reapply. But if I can't, like I said, blessings that I have my savings, I'm going to go ahead and redo my my focus. And I'm going to help those people in low-income housing who are getting this payment as next stimulus payment within what August, whenever it comes, the time I want people to actually get their mind right, get their motivations in tow, so that they can take the twelve hundred dollars and invest it, because that's what needs to be done. I was telling my sister the other day that we have just basically become a live it, it we're we're in a reality tv show everybody's posting on youtube facebook all the social medias your life is for the, is available for the world to see no matter what that's the only way that seems to want people to make a living and i mean honestly like seriously sincerely with all the jobs that have been lost the only avenue is online and i am so mad that my rebranding took place when everything collapsed. But basically, it turns out that I'm basically starting over brand new and you can see me grow my channel again (laughs) from scratch, but hopefully better this time. And in the process, I wanna be able to help people with this next round of stimulus get through the end of the year and come out on top. 